So the first hike of our trip, we just started on it, is um, Castle Trail to Medicine Loop. Castle Trail could cut all the way through about three quarters of the park, it looked like. Could be wrong, fact check me. Um, but then there is a, another trail called Medicine Loop that then overlaps it, so then you take Medicine Loop and it loops back around to, so that you come back. I always call it a lollipop trail because on a big map, it looks like a lollipop where you hike up the stick around the lollipop and then back down the stick is your visual poop. And it is super muddy. It snowed, I would say an inch to two inches last night. And then it is about 40 degrees today. And so that means all the snow melted and we are hiking right through the fresh soil and obviously struggling. I wish I could have caught that a little better. But these formations are pretty cool. She's uh, she's struggling a bit to get to get out the mud. A good husband would be helping her, so I'll go do that now, like a pro. Now we'll get me struggling. The worst eight miles of my life. Look how far we are. We're nice and far off. Yeah. It's flatter over here. It got easier. Decide to go on the grass on the side. No longer fine. You uh just to make sure to get my face somewhere in here. Is pretty darn slick. Hopefully, we get more to a, a grassy section here. Try ice skating. Cool. She is over there. Decided to explore off the side. Cause so it looked like pretty cool canyon. It is pretty cool. And pretty spooky. Especially when it's slippery like this. Well, we made it to the base of the lollipop. And so did my teeth. Very muddy. Well, the medicine loop section um, is definitely easier. You can hike on the side a lot more, but it's a little bit more boring. The like bad land rock sand structures are um, 
further away. You're just kind of hiking through the prairies. So. We're gonna go over the side and huge buffalo <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. some more interesting parts of the trail. Still trying to make ground. We've been going pretty slow. Got some mule deer. Perfect timing as a little reward. With my whole lollipop illustration, we're at the top of the lollipop, which means that on the loop going down, like we're starting to head back towards our starting point as opposed to getting further away and we are we are there at the turnaround point right about where those deer are Some of the weirdest sections of this hike, just like these random mud splotches where it's like the grass almost goes in perfect little round section around it. And there's nothing really there, just a clump of mud. Oh, maybe it used to be a spire and it melted down in, in the rain and water. I don't know. So there's been a whole bunch of those sections. Just had to go through a whole plot of mud too. First in a while, that's annoying. Laura stopped to fix her hiking stick, which was perfect. She's like, you hear that? Oh, it's a little waterfall. That's what she said, just like that. Yeah. Pretty cool, all the melting snow. This is a cool section of the hike, especially now that the sun's coming out. The clouds look really cool too. All this eroded out dirt filled with snow. You can see up underneath that one, it's like melted out under. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a cool section. Oh, look it. There's a little ice bridge. Yeah. Snow bridge with icicles underneath. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then we're starting to get a little bit of the vastness back. This is a good section. I like this. I'm glad we did the other section Second first. Room on the lollipop if we would have gone up this side of the lollipop first it would have been like oh cool and then the back side would have been boring it's always nice having like ending with wow we're we're just being assaulted with things to see up next we're going to round a corner there's going to be a buffalo maybe it's not a deer maybe it's a baby buffalo it's a deer this side of the trail is a lot cooler than the backside. These layers of dirt and then in the distance. That is really cool. Power lines always ruin things. I'll go back this way. This is pretty cool. We're just starting a section where we actually get to walk through all of the things we were ooing and aahing about a second ago over to our left. Now we get to go through it. What? Okay. A little break in the badlands. You can see off into the distance. Sun is coming out.
Far, far away. <laughs> yep. It's not too bad. Here we are, heading back after a nice little stroll. That little boardwalk step finishes it, takes us back to our car. We're about to do Sage Creek Wilderness Loop now, which starting off, it's pretty beautiful. And the drive up here is a dirt road and we passed bajillion, if that's a number, I know it's not, um, prairie dogs all running around jumping. We got some pretty great video of that. There is a little registration box at this top of the hike. I'm pretty sure that's only if you're actually like backpacking. We're not backpacking. We're just hiking the 4.1 mile loop. So here we go. We started up there. There's the truck. We already got a little off trail. All of the reviews said that, uh, you basically just have a crapshoot. There are a bunch of side bison trails and everything that gets confused. That's our main route right down there. This is just if you could tell people came up because they wanted to see over this bump. <clears throat> What's that? And food. not sliding every other step. Got some bison prints. Of course, tons of bison crap. Hiking where the bison hike. At this point, at least according to all trails. Well, I'm on the trail right now. And it is just straight up grass. There's like not even a sign of any trail at all. I mean, it's beautiful. We think that that's a buffalo out there, that big lump. There are also deer over there that ran away. And they're not there anymore. It's beautiful, but yeah, no trail. Uh, you basically just have to give up and just walk straight. Hey, that looks kind of like a trail. Maybe we'll head towards that. Where did I see that? There's one clear. Right, I don't know. Is this one right here? There's no human tracks, and yeah, there's a lot of tracks, so I'm guessing that's coyote. And they're a lot smaller, unless it's just like a tiny. Like that. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. As long as you keep a positive outlook. I feel like this hike is like. I also feel like I'm in the beginning of the Goofy movie when Max is having that uh, dream about, um, do you remember the girl's name in the Goofy movie? He like follows a trail and she's wearing like this long white flowing dress. Water right here. We got straight up soup and I think we got to go up that way. I don't know why I got a bad accent there for a second. It's not deep. Yeah, it's not bad. Where's your friend? Just to show my face for once. Like on the last hike. There's Laura coming up behind me. So when it comes to all trails, there are a few places where the trail like veers off from what's marked on the all trails map. And you feel like, like you need to stick to all trails. I think you just have to kind of stick to the trail as best you can. And there will be a few points where it's like, if it really gets off, okay, you obviously followed the wrong trail, maybe a Buffalo trail or something. But, um, but yeah, stick to the actual trails and then just kind of use all trails as a general guide. 
because um, we're back on a trail and it sure seems to be the trail, but it's not exact. So just there's my advice for you and my face. Where'd she go? Oh, we're getting quite a bit closer to what we believe is our buffalo friend. I can't tell though, because it doesn't seem to be moving at all. Maybe it's laying down. I don't know, maybe it's just a big rock. This right here, at least, uh, I don't know. We are deciding that it's a buffalo, but it almost looks like a, a large cat. And it's just enough to make you go, hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure that's a buffalo. Just no, definitely no um, track expert here. big blob and we just yeah I think it might be and like look in the camera like oh, on on the right side yeah he just turned hold on he's looking at us is he nice so that is a buffalo they're way off in the distance and we're smart enough to not like go up and Hello, get mauled um but it is just an eerie feeling being out in the open. You know, it's not like a zoo where there's a cage in, in between or anything. You're just out here and you feel exposed with a large wild animal. But it's also cool. Oh, my glasses got in the way. It's also pretty cool. I don't know how anybody would ever cross this in the summer. There's no bridge. Okay. I test the depth. It's definitely over a boot. This is where water would rush into your boots. So we just found pl a place with thicker ice. It's like, um, what is it? Uh, I don't even know what month it is. March, late March. So luckily there's still some thick enough ice to cross. Yeah, if you can get past the confusion and the lack of maintenance, it really is actually a cool hike. We're enjoying it a lot. Of course, it always helps to see prairie dogs on the way in and then see buffalo and hear birds. And there are buffalo friends. It's just these cool little stream crossings and rolling hills and you get a little bit of the terrain that Badlands is kind of known for, that iconic dune look. I really got to find out the technical term for those. I sound like a wannabe. Really cool clouds. You hike right up to that dune. It's just too muddy to actually get up to it, unfortunately. Oh, look at that. There's been sections like that, and it's still better than yesterday. Oh. Man, that mud gets coated on. You're walking it adds so much extra weight. No traction. Really wish the trail was better marked. We got lost again for a second. We're just walking through the grass. Um, Badlands is free range though. It's one of the few national parks that's free range where you can go wherever you want. So at least we have that going for us. But man, it's beautiful. And we're about to go over this little crevice right here. Probably eat our dinner up here. Man, those clouds look beautiful. A little bit anticlimactic. You don't get me wrong, it's cool, but it's hoping more for like a canyon or something. That was a bald eagle that just went overhead. America. So we ate our food right up there and we were just hiking and hiding behind that little corner 
is another buffalo friend. Making lots of buffalo friends today. Yep, and then we got another one up there. Pretty cool, they were close. We didn't even know it. Look at how satisfying this mud is. Probably. Other than this mud. We were four wheeling it for a minute. Thank goodness for all trails. It gets you off track sometimes, and of course, then it helps you get right back on. You can see a tiny bit of trail, but man, is it impossible to follow? I mean, look, no, yeah, no more trail. We're just in grass now. Well, maybe you could see some matted grass. There was one random tree that we passed. Look at that. There's another one over there, but pretty random. Coming up to our creek crossing here. What? Can you take over here? Nope. Why? We, I mean, I, we can, but it shows it up here. Oh, the trail? Yeah. There's a clear coyote track if I've ever seen one. All these huge chunks of ice are actually pretty cool. You can tell that it like melted out from underneath and then it crashed down. Once again, just straight up through the grass destinations up there, many herd of buffalo over there. It's just cool that they've been spotted all around from a safe distance. Okay. It's a cool little finish on the trail. Like from my headlamp, you can see me holding my thing so quick. <clears throat> cool little finish, you go up through that. There's this side to side, and you go straight up that. Yeah, she went a little to the right. But... Here we are on the Notch Trail. Now I did this one. This is my third time hiking this in my life, actually. I did it a few years back before Laura and I were married with my family. Then years ago before that, we did it with my, on a family vacation. It's a cool one that I remember, definitely more clearly marked trail so far. Laura's got this weird leg thing going on, so she's hobbling like an old lady. Um, that's why. She can't really bend her knee. And for the record, I said, let's not do the hike today. So I'm not like forcing her to do this. Um, she's just... I just twisted it. She's just stubborn. It's pretty cool when you're like hiking up. This one's not as long, it's only a mile and a half. We, we've slowly done less every hike. Not on purpose, it just kind of ended up that way. We started off with a 7.9. Then yesterday we did about four and then 1.5 and then we're actually gonna right after we finish this one we're gonna do a mile long. So not alone today either. Cross paths with a few other hikers. Other which is different than our last two. We were completely alone the entire time. Here's kind of a iconic section of the hike. I don't know. That, that's way too strong a word. It's kind of what the hike is about though. This and then the view. So we'll just uh, we'll just go right on. Right on up this thingy. So then once you get to the top of that. You have this pretty cool little hike along the canyon wall there. Gonna loop around to the left. Kind of 
follow it up over there. So we can hike up that canyon up there, looping around here. And this here is why the hike is called the notch. Just hike up to this notch in the canyon and look at that. Man. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Knowing that we had a picture right here. Yeah. And we're getting smacked in the face with the wind. And it is a very um, moisturized wind. So cold. Here's the door trail, obviously. A little more of a touristy thing with the boardwalk and the, and the people, no the extra people. It's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, it's, oh, it's wow. Neat and all. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Oh, here we go. So now we're breaking some off the mountain. Actually, turn yeah. Well, with the boardwalk section, we're going to be doing a little bit of walking. Yeah. 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 Yeah